Zach, I'll, I'll, um, was there a level of frustration today? You guys, like, once again, you know, dominated uh, the yards. You look like you're in control, and yet you, you didn't lead until early in the fourth quarter. How did you guys sort of deal with that? I mean, I'm not sure there was a level of frustration, but there was a, I guess, knowledge that we should be doing better on the scoreboard. Just keep at it? Is that how you yeah. get through that? I mean, just kept at it. We knew, um, you know, we trusted what we were doing um, and just stuck with what we knew. What was it like to finally get a home game? It was awesome. It really was. Um, you know, you're sleeping in your own bed the night before the game. Um, there's, a, you know, right after the game now, uh, you really get to enjoy the win, I think, a lot more because you're not on a, on a red-eye flight back to South Dakota. So. You left the game for a little bit. Did you just get kind of a stinger? Or? Yeah, just a little stinger in my shoulder at that point. And then um, Reggie went in. Um, I think he took about you know greater half of a series. Um, and that was just because I was getting a little bit winded, and you know we knew Reggie to be able to go in there and get a, you know do a great job for us. So. And he did, picking up that first down on that uh, little dumb box. Zach, when we're watching, it looks like you're getting better as the game going, goes on. Do you feel you feel that happening too? I mean, just from a mindset standpoint? Definitely. I mean, for the run game, it's all about wearing down the defense. And you know that's what we try to do every game. So you need to have that mindset that you are getting stronger and that they're getting weaker. You practice against uh, Lally uh, for a big game today. What what does he you smile? What does he bring to the table? Uh, you know, Lally's a hard worker. Um, he was an Iron Jack, I believe, uh, during his first off season. So that had been last winter, I think, which is impressive. You know, that's very impressive in my opinion. <clears throat> so you know, he's been put put in the time off the field, and it showed up today. Another big day for you. Um, how was today maybe different than, than the other two for you? I mean, we obviously playing a 4-3 team is a lot different than playing an Okie team. Uh, so we had a little bit different plays in. Um, we had another great week of practice. Uh, and I'm working out. How big is the, the long run for you? you? You seem to have had those every game, and it seems like you can really swing a game or, or demoralize a defense. How big is it? Yeah. I mean, it's it's nice to get those long ones, of course, but um, you know, I think really what can be even more effective is a long, you know, sustained drive that just eats up that clock. I mean, obviously, you know, those those runs that end up being long are great, um, but I think an even more effective one is the long drive. You, you get started with one of those. Look like you're going to go in and, and uh, you know take the lead right away. You took the ball or aggressive on the on the flip. Um, what um, turnovers have not been great though? Uh, how do you guys kind of go about fixing that or, or you know, tightening that up a little bit? I mean, we know ball security is important. Um, you know, it's it's always stressed ball security, ball security. Um, you know, we've worked on it a lot in fall camp, and really we just gotta start executing. I mean, I've already had two fumbles this season, which you know, the goal before the season would be to have no fumbles the whole season. You know what I mean? I've already had two, which is unacceptable, and then. You know, we saw on that drive you're talking about another turnover and then the uh, interception. I mean, it just all comes down to execution in that situation because we drill it, you know, we know what we need to do. Um, so we just got to come out and not turn it. Uh, at the end of the game, you guys remember, took your shoes off uh, back in Coach State with what he was doing. What were your thoughts on getting involved in that? On Samaritan Speed? Yeah. Oh, that's a great, you know, it's a great program. Um, it's cool how they're really focusing on uh, the United States. You know, obviously there are countries all over the world that need help, but it's cool to find a organization that's growing, that's focusing on, um, you know, uh, the United States. Especially specifically, what we did today, uh, that's going towards the Brookings community. So all those um, proceeds. Anything else for Zach? Just one more. Your thoughts on the two, getting two non-conference wins, given how difficult the Valley is. Do uh, you feel like that's going to help you out down the line? Well, definitely getting a win. I mean, it feels good, and you know, it's only going to 
improve our confidence level. Um, I mean, going into conference play, it's definitely good to have two wins instead of, you know, two losses. So it's, you know, because um, the Missouri Valley is a tough conference and competition is going to be tough, but you know, we're going to keep preparing and having good weeks, hopefully get more wins. All right, thank you, sir.